What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. In today's video we got this week's Ascendant Challenge. Slightly late, but still not very late. So yeah, let's just go with that. Roll the intros, let's get right into it and I do hope you certainly enjoy. Alrighty, getting straight into the video. Now this week we've got, well, the Ascendant Challenge, and this video in itself is the Ascendant Challenge. So once you're spawned in, jump on your sparrow, head in this direction, follow the actual path that my Titan takes. It really isn't too much of a difficult kind of thing. I will actually state this one in itself is one of those ones where I myself definitely have failed quite a few times, and this video is being recorded with audio after the video in itself, because the audio from the video ended up failing and the video in itself ended up failing twice. I ended up getting beat and then I ended up getting kicked back to orbit. So we're back into it, we're doing this and as you can see I've already run through this area because there's no ads but once you're at this spot, pop your tincture of Queen's Foil if you haven't already popped it and then jump through the good old portal. Now I did actually state I've done this kind of thing twice so far today and the first one was pretty much just a bunch of boosty things off the wall and I ended up taking the right track. However, this time I ended up taking the forward, a middle track, and actually go up because Toland is here. Once you have listened to Toland, Oryx would look on all of this and laugh. He will laugh so deep and true. Cool. Thank you for that. That's that's some cool information. Anyway, keep on heading up to this kind of pathway. You're pretty much going to be jumping back and forth from one path to the other path, from one ledge to the other ledge. In itself, it isn't too actual difficult when you do actually kind of get it down pat. From that middle circle, pretty much as you can see where I jumped up here, is very much one of the safe spots. Keep jumping up slightly and move over in this direction and there should actually be more ledges that you're able to kind of jump on and bounce around but what we are doing is pretty much getting to the spot where that sniper is so let's just take out this sniper over here once he's gone we can pretty much jump to this rock and we can kind of just jump straight to this guy and take him out because well why not take him out and um yeah there should be um carabones here so yeah check it out this i'm pretty sure it's this statue pretty sure this is the right one because it's on the right hand side, but I'm not actually 100% sure, so just in case, maybe check out the other statue and uh, see if the arm um, carabones are on there. I, I can't really remember. I'm pretty sure they're on the right actual statue, the one I did show you guys. But, anyway, once you do get to the top, you're going to pretty much want to take out the pretty much bunch of ads, the Shadow Thrill, that's what they're called. Couldn't think of what the name was for a second there. And take out this big guy, because the big guy is like the main target in this. And if you are a person like myself, where you are actually in a Titan that you haven't been on in a while, then you are a little bit behind on some things, like Super and all that good stuff. But this guy in himself isn't too difficult to take out, although I don't have any heavy, I just realized that. So, I switch out to my backup weapon that's been my backup weapon for the last few days, Prometheus Lens. This thing is amazing when there are just bunch of ads everywhere because you can just blast anywhere and automatically get a kill and get your ammo back and it is seriously amazing because it just burns down enemies. This thing in itself, you don't even realize the boss is dead and you kind of just like, yeah, hey, well, let's just rub my chicken because why not? I like my solid chicken. But anyway, this is a chest. We open up the good old chest in itself. I get myself some Reverie Dawn Gauntlets for my Titan. That in itself isn't actually too amazing, but I will, you know, go through and actually dismantle it so I can get some more weapon parts. And we go ahead and actually look at what we did actually get from this week's Ascendant Challenge. From the actual challenge thing, I got myself a Vouch Safe Scout Rifle with some pretty decent rolls. I do have to state drop mag being very nice on a scout rifle but also auto loading holster and dragonfly this thing auto loading holster not holster this thing in itself is honestly a lot of fun so I'm definitely going to keep it try it out see how it actually goes 
But uh, yeah, this has been this week's Ascend Challenge. This has been Zach Novak. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click the like button down below. Leave a comment. Let me know. Did you guys get anything good from this actual, you know, Ascend Challenge? Was it something that was decent? Was it something that was good? Did you actually get some cool loot? Did you get some bad loot? Let me know in the comment section. If you guys did enjoy this video, once again, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. But until next time, this is Zach Novak. Share this video around because it seriously helps that channel. Helps out you guys and helps out other people to actually see my content. But until next time, this is Zach Novak. Do all that good stuff. I want to be cheering like Karen. He was at Sharon. But until next time, this is Zach Novak. Signing off. Peace out.